hi hi guys how you all doing this is actually pride of course and it's me your girl uni so guys we are in the kitchen again and this is this is bo you could be wondering for status this is bo the vegetable if you can remember i made this there was a time that I showed you how we preserve our vegetable in preparations for dry season. So, if you can remember the vegetable we dried, this is it, guys. So, I think today we are going to cook it. Uh, some I read on some comments, someone also asked me how it's cooked. So, I'm like, why not? I mean, why shouldn't I show you since we are going to cook it today, guys? The thing is, it needs to dry properly. Yes, it dried well last time, but the fact that it has been in the house for some days, it has actually cooled a bit. So, the form in which I'm going to cook needs it totally dry so i'm going to put it here on the sun to dry a bit before we can hit the kitchen yeah <laughs> otherwise uh you're very much welcome back to the channel guys this sauce is best served with sweet potatoes and that is the reason you see it here on it's actually ready i can tell so all i'm going to do is just to prepare this it is dry totally remember i put it on the sun to be dry so i don't know there is a sound actually <laughs> that's a clear indication that it is dry i wish you could hear it but sorry, it may be hard for you to, to, to hear it. But there's that crunchy sound it brings when you just hold it in your, hum, in, in your hand like this. So what we do is, first of all, this is like a five minutes cooking or something. Less than that even, I guess. It's like the... Um, okay, you know, you know when you get an abrupt visitor in the night and you have this in the house. And maybe with sweet potatoes, trust me, you can cook very fast. And your visitor will eat actually very fast as well. So it's like... Um, a savior for us <laughs> when you have an um an abrupt visitor and maybe you didn't have any food in the house you know this could be a real a real run to solution so guys let's do this very fast first of all we don't cook them when they're big like this and that is the reason we make it to dry properly because we are going to i don't even know what i'm doing i don't know how to say it but i want them to turn into powder that is all we are going to do guys but because this is, um, okay, the winner has some holes in between and it might actually end up pouring. So I'm going to use, I think, a tray. Oh. This is going to be more comfortable. <laughs> of course, I'm going to chew sugar cane in the middle of the cooking. I won't lie to you. That is why it's actually close to me. <laughs> I like sugar cane a lot, guys. So you just rub it on your palm like this and it will surely turn into powder because it's very much dry, remember? Meanwhile, this is the same vegetable that I sometimes cooked. That's the time that I cooked it pasted and I served it with a side dish of beans, guys. If you can remember, this is the same vegetable but in another form. You can see. <laughs> you could be wondering, what vegetable is that one? You know, I've just told you. In fact, as I'm doing this, I'm going to need a small pinch of this. This is the bicarbonate I always use for cooking. Just a pinch, very little. Let me put it in water to be dissolving. I'm going to need it at some point. Right, let me keep it there as we do this. Some people actually serve this with posho. It's also nice, but personally I prefer it with sweet potatoes. So don't tie yourself to what I'm doing. You can also serve it with something else according to your taste, even cassava, according to how you like it. I've actually inhaled it. That's why I cooked.
as you can see the powder is actually coming out this is already the fine ones looks like this one has totally failed because um <clears throat> like i failed to make it to powder it does not go of course like it cannot finish everything to zero until you turn it to powder that's my point so this is what has remained I'm just put it aside but then of course our powder here is enough so let me already check for this sweet potatoes and carry it off <laughs> soft it's ready so I'm going to cover it because I want it hot I want it to cool and then this, let me just warm some little water here before I start pasting like I told you guys this is like a five minutes cooking you're going to testify to this from the time of um, I'm going to carry off the water to the end of the cooking you're going to testify <laughs> let's wait for the water to warm a bit meanwhile our solution is also here ready for use the bicarbonate remember so let's leave the water to warm just a little bit then we carry it because peanut butter had to be included in this <laughs> you would be shocked i guess if i was cooking without peanut butter mm? by now it should be used so guys we're going to uh, make a mixture of peanut butter and that water and then add in some salt as well The water is actually boiling already as you can see so I'll put it back on fire but later I want to first mix it well then I put it so it was actually only the water delaying the cooking like I told you Looks little, let me add a bit. Oh, almost burnt myself. But if you can remember on the day I was actually making this, when I was preserving this vegetable, the ball, I added some salt. Meanwhile, if you did not watch the video, please go back and watch how this vegetable here was made, how we preserved how, from the time I plucked it from the garden until I dried it. Please go watch it, then you can know how it came about, then you're going to know what I'm actually cooking, yeah? <laughs> so that day I added some salt, if you can remember. So when you're cooking it, you don't add a lot of salt, otherwise it's going to turn with it's going to turn out too salty. Okay. So the thing is, when you're mixing anything with peanut butter, first add just a just a little water and make it smooth before you add in the like the soup or whatever you 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 actually paste in. In that way, it's easier to mix it thoroughly. So at this point, I can now add in the water to the size that I really want. Of course, I'm going to add in the salt. <laughs> See the chicken. <laughs> this chicken loves me a lot. And they want to appear in every video. You can imagine. <laughs> yeah, and of course, the mixture of the bicarbonate. I think you can notice how it anyway you might not be able to see but there's a way the bicarbonate turns the color a bit yeah it makes it really look nice and at this point i'm going to put it on fire so let it warm from there as i prepare the powder for adding
so you make sure that this mixture actually does not really boil like real boiling you just make sure it's on heat and then you keep mixing it when it's going to boil make sure you, you stir it so that it does not boil like real boiling you get what i mean i hope you do <laughs> so guys i'm going to add in the powder just like that You know the part I can't wait for? <laughs> to eat. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to eat it already, guys. I won't lie. <laughs> So guys, does this, does this look like something you have ever seen? <laughs> I have a feeling it's a total strange thing to you all. Please, if you have ever seen this kind of a sauce anywhere, let me know. And let me know where you saw it from. And did you test? I mean, how did it taste for you? Hit the inbox already. I mean, the comment section already. And yeah, let me know how you guys experienced it. That is if you really did, of course. I know somebody out there has not. Actually, a lot of you, I can say 90% of you have not seen this even anywhere. If it's you, please let me know <laughs> if you're in the 90%. <laughs> oh. Told you that I cannot wait to eat, guys. I won't lie. <laughs> So guys, this is how the sauce looks like, you can see. Of course, I showed you this some time back. This is how we do it, guys. We don't waste the sauce that remains on the mingling stick. I don't know how you guys do it. Please let me know if you also look like you do. <laughs> Alright. And there's a way this sauce is really satisfying. You know, for the fact that it is... um. It has peanut butter it really makes you full after eating it you feel so full with this all hot like this ooh, <laughs> oh my god oh this is too big let me first leave that to pull now I start off with this one. Of course, I mean. <laughs> I'm so used by that. I always pray before I eat. It's just, I think it's just a thing. I can't even help it, but it's just me. Even in a restaurant, that is all. <laughs> if any day anyone takes me out to a restaurant or whatever, it's just in me. I won't, I won't, even, even if I visit you, if you don't pray, I'm going to pray for you before we eat. Mmm. It's hot but very nice <laughs> you know what <laughs> allow me to eat <laughs> <laughs> 